Hello, welcome to LMC and Knowledge Lyrics Music Channel with spiritual insight and wisdom that I will share to you so you can take along your spiritual journey. I hope you're having a good day, good night, wherever you're at. And whenever you see this, make sure that you're prayed up and in that light of Jesus. Okay? Okay. So before we get into this message, I will use my shamanic drum to cleanse the space, clear the energy, and we will go from there. Oh my God. <laughs> and we will go from there. Okay, so the intuitive message I have for you guys is your energy deserves recognition. I just seen 111 for the third time, you guys. Each video I posted today, 111, I've seen it every single time. This is definitely <clears throat> a sign for you. Um, I'm claiming it too because what the heck? I just seen 111 three times in a row. If you're seeing that, that's definitely a sign for you. Um, and letting you know that you are aligned. You are truly where you need to be right here. Talking to me like this is divine timing. Every time that we talk, every time that we meet up, it's a divine session. So every time you touch base with our channel, God's channel, um know that you are at the right place at the right time and everything's happening the way it needs to be because you know before we get into this message i remember when i i'm thinking back like when i first seen a tarot reading and i was going through the worst and i felt like my life was so over because I was just so absorbed in another person's realm. You know, I didn't even create my own realm. Like I said before in one of my videos, when we are children, we are in our parents' realm. And then we learn in their realm, grow in their realm. We might be get some scars, some pain, some karma because of their actions. Because they weren't perfect. You know, we're not perfect. But we're not blaming. But with that being said, you're in your parents' realm. Then when you grow up, you learn how to create your own realm. When you are in the real world, you create your own reality, your own environment, your own aura. So with that being said, I thought that I was just, I thought it was bad timing. Uh, the reason why I'm saying the right timing, when you meet up with me, when we talk, I, sorry, I'm just thinking right back when I first started tarot readings and I was, conf I didn't really know what would, what it was. I was just seeing like, I don't, it popped up on my YouTube. I didn't even look up tarot and this was over three years ago. And I, you know, I just, like I said, thought it was wrong timing, but it was the right timing. Sorry, you guys. I know I don't know if you guys are getting agitated because of the way I'm trying to explain it. But yeah, it was the right timing for me to see that. But in, in my mindset back then, I'm thinking this is a bad time and I'm in karma. But really, I was on my way to success, even though it looked like a storm. I was going through a storm, but it still was en route to my success. You know, I thought the destruction was 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 it i thought that was what it was i thought life was i didn't know what life was because i was in somebody else's world now i could understand two people bringing their worlds together and intertwining it but it wasn't like that for me it wasn't i was just in his world so i've created my own world now and i feel so peaceful now i feel i feel found it i feel rooted you know um i feel grounded so with that being said you have grounded your energy you have created your aura you have created 
a peaceful reality for you. You maintain your peace. You maintain organization. You like to maintain order in your life. Um, you have this goal that certain people in your life were blocking you from, right? There was fame. I'm hearing fame, notoriety, recognition of your energy because you've worked on your energy. You honed into your power. You mastered your frequency so you know when you're out of bounce. You know when you're out of whack and you can get yourself right back on track. You understand? You've been getting yourself right back back on tracks quicker every single time every single every single situation you go through and even me things that i may go through in the future it's going to strengthen my frequency these situations and what i see is a storm i just seen 555 what i see is a storm or abrupt change or they left my life or i lost this job or this ain't work out right it's all helping me strengthen my frequency to its core and your frequency is very authentic. Your energy is very authentic. You do not, you are not an energy vampire. You know when, okay, my energy might be low or I don't need to call them because I don't want to put my energy onto them. Like I don't want them absorbing what I'm going through. So you know how to heal yourself, correct yourself without affecting other people, you know? So you have not abused your power you have not abused your energy because you realize that you remember the time when you didn't have your own energy when you wasn't flowing right you know when you wasn't praying enough or when you wasn't thinking positive enough um you are maintaining positive thoughts now um you're finding new ways to raise your frequency on a daily or you're realizing the things that you're doing your goals, your dream, you realize once you stepped into your purpose, you realize once you took action to your goals, once you took action to your dreams um, in this life, you started to be, you started to feel more aligned. You started to get more confirmation. So you're getting confirmation on top of confirmation, just reassurance on top of reassurance that you are doing what you need to do and you are where you need to be at this time. Um, and you are who you are at this time and you are meant to be with be where you're at like whoever you're surrounded by you're learning from them so it's like you may have somebody who is also on their spiritual journey and you guys are growing together and it's like certain people you know how you can argue with and then they would you would leave on bad terms or the energy still feel weird even though you apologize it still don't feel right but then you found a certain person or a certain family member that when y'all bump heads y'all get stronger it just builds y'all up you know so um yeah let's pull some cards out the energy deserves recognition so yeah, you're definitely, you're using your vocals, your, your crown chakra or something, something with your thoughts or the way you believe, um, the way you think, the way you love or something, it needs to be shown to the world. The way you love your children, the way you you heal your pets, or maybe you can vlog. I see people vlogging their cats or it's like certain people whose animals go like get viral. Y'all know how y'all see those viral videos on YouTube or whatever. And um, you may have a pet or you may have a family or, or a specific routine of something. You may be really organized on cert or really good at something that the world needs to see. So you may be wanting to vlog or put yourself out on social media, social platforms. You may have flyers of something. You're selling something. Um, or you need to get flyers for whatever you're selling or your L LLC. Um you're just doing things towards your business or your career. You're put channeling your energy, your your tunnel vision. You've been you've been ascending with this light. So it's like whatever you're doing is causing you to ascend. It's causing you to your energy to get brighter and brighter. Your energy to get stronger and stronger. And when God sees his his chosen ones, his star seeds, his light workers, whatever title you have. He see he watches us on the daily and sees, okay, 
he's misusing his energy on her buying her this and she's cheating on him like he's seeing everybody's cycle and obstacle and who they choose to be around and he's um really picking his stars right now god's picking his light bulbs right now the light bulbs that he's about to screw in for the decade so there's certain light bulbs that got dim and that blew out so they're gonna unscrew it out certain like you know i'm seeing people who were famous decades ago or people you used to look up to a decade ago and they were super big and now they're not as big as who you thought they were when you were younger you know, when you weren't as awakened, you're realizing you're more awakened than the celebrities. You're realizing you're more awakened than these influencers that are out here. You got something to say. You got something to, to that needs to be seen or that needs to be eaten, that needs to be worn, that needs to be heard, that needs to be felt. You know, your energy deserves recognition, right? And your energy deserves recognition and your life is due for an upgrade in all forms of free positive frequency your due your life is due for an upgrade in all forms of positive frequency so you have really cut out bad habits you are using your time more wisely um, you're making better decisions for yourself and it's really causing you to change your life. Like you're not the same. You're proud of the steps that you're making. You, you cheer for yourself. You are your supporter. You are that mo you had to motivate yourself or your children motivate you or your family member motivates you or you're doing this for your family. You're doing this for your legacy. You're doing this for the world. You know, you have a heart for the world or you have a gift to share to God's people in different nations and different regions and different continents and countries like you're meant to be known and you're already on that path of recognition like I said it's the energy that's inside of you it's not about how you look even though you may have had insecurities but there's no reason to be insecure because they want something from your soul they're looking at you as a soul these people that you're attracting, these fans, these supporters, these customers, they love what you can provide, you know, not in a, oh, I just want to drain your energy or I only like you for this. But the main reason you're here is to be of service and to provide for God with your creative gifts, with your dreams, with your goals and like I said in my, I don't know what video I said it was, but certain certain companies and businesses flourish. They they look out, they look so good, right? For ten years, and then twenty more years, they go, they file bankruptcy. But I'm saying it again: you're going to your your legacy, your name, your the title of your company, the name of your whatever your branding or something like that, or your name is going to hold weight. For centuries your energy holds weight for centuries you you not you ain't come here to play it small you did you definitely didn't do that so do not do anything small always think bigger your your spiritual team is opening your mind to think bigger they want you to receive higher um bigger bigger outcomes in your life um so yeah let's pull some more cards and we'll close this out set 14 it'll be taking a little second to upload so something about your sacral chakra your creativity like i said the way you express yourself your confidence so you may be a model of clothing or jewelry or you're showing yourself to the world, right? You're you're expressing yourself through something and you're very confident at it. You're very confident with your your gift. Um, you know the truth. You know the truth of something. There's something that you need to say to the world. So you bring the truth to your community, you bring the truth to your family, you bring the truth to the world. 
fulfillment of wishes. So you're coming here to receive the highest forms of your blessings, the highest level. You came here for the highest accomplishment, the the biggest outcome, the best outcome. You you use like uh uh God if if I'm coming back to earth again, I'm gonna achieve something big. I'm not gonna play it small this time. I'm not gonna hold myself back this time. I'm not. I'm gonna think bigger. I'm gonna do it even more. Like you you ain't come here to just live a program life of go to college or work a factory job for for the the rest of your life and then that's how you get your your financial success you know you gotta slave for 30 years of your life and then you get your success like later in life you're you're supposed to get it a little bit sooner is what i'm hearing you're here to get it sooner even if it takes a while it's still coming sooner than it did in your past life so there might be some energies that try to hold you back, tempt you, make you sell your soul, make you, hey, uh, sell your soul short. If you say this or if you don't mention God, I got you. We can just don't mention that God stuff around here. Like, don't sell yourself short. Don't be tempted. Don't be taking shortcuts to get where you want to be. I'm seeing like you didn't do OnlyFans. You didn't uh, sell your body. You didn't need a sugar dip a sugar daddy or a sugar mama like you didn't go that route you didn't sell drugs or you 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 didn't choose the the other route you know some people yeah i'm talking to two groups of people there could be people who were tempted in their past life or and i like to say past life because every 10 years you you you're that was your past life 10 years ago past life you're not the same age you're not in the same mindset and if you are you just brainwashed or something i don't know what to tell you or you just running on autopilot there's some people who running on autopilot a lot of people but then there's some people who are evolving every 10 years so i'm hearing you've been evolving every 10 years um so much wisdom you're here to to plant seeds you're here to grow crops or a farm you're here to have a pharmacy or a farm you're here to grow your own food or you you budget with your food you save your money it's like you're looking at you keep everything balanced you water your garden you water your spirit you fill your spirit you're very intuitive and you're you're listening to your soul's uh directions you're allowing your soul to direct you in your life so yeah that's what i got for you guys i love you guys and i'll see you in my next video peace